Good morning, friends. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole from Relax Cut Glue. And this morning I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of my glue books that I currently have going. I have quite a few. Some are kind of the same, some are different, but these are all the ones that ha are unfinished and that I currently work in. Some of them regularly, some I haven't worked in in a very long time. And oh my gosh, there's a hummingbird. Every time I start a video, there's a hummingbird. It's like a sign, you guys. It's weird. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I wish I could show you. <gasps> it's coming up to my window. It's staring at me. <gasps> you guys, it came right up to my window and was like looking at me like, yo, why are you talking about me? Mind your business. Anyways, back to the video. Okay, so let me start with, I have this one my bizarre fashion glue book that I started. Um, I still have a lot of pages to do in this. I also need to put images on this side. I'll be honest, the white space in this bothers me. Maybe it won't bother me as much when I put images on this side, but yep, this is one of my glue books. Everything in here has to do with weird fashion. This is a three signature glue book that I made. It's long and tall. Okay, so we have that glue book. I have this one, which is just little bits of um, cardstock. And this is my alphabet journal, or glue book, I'm sorry, alphabet glue book. So everything, this is A, everything here starts with A, B, you get the gist. So each card is a letter that I collaged and glue booked glue booked the, you guys it's early i'm i'm struggling this the struggle is real okay so i'm currently on i so i have that so i need to get more i images i've kind of put this on the back burner lately so i have that book i have this little one that i just made out of some cardstock and computer paper which I love to use. And this is like kind of more like a little collage glue book. Just something little that's kind of mindless and just kind of playing with some things and trying something new. Uh, I never ended up finishing this one. So I only have a few pages left. So sometimes I just make a little booklet like this. You know, something simple and easy. So there's that. And then I took a cover of a book and I was using the pages for something so I took the book off and then bound it with some rings and then in here I have like each page is a piece of cardstock but it's like a full image there's no little squares and all that I just I have a lot of images that are bigger that I like and there's kind of no place for them, which is why I started my bigger glue book. But then I ended up using smaller images in that too. I don't know. So everything in here just kind of... And then I thought I could go back and add words or something. Or not. I don't know. Like these are nice images that I found. Like this one, I still need to go back and add something here. Um, so yeah, I started this. I thought that would be fun for like my images that are larger that I enjoy but I don't know what to do with. So I have that. I haven't worked in that in a long time. And then I have this ABC journal. Um, this is a traveler's notebook insert. And I left this page blank because I need to decorate it for my ABC. So I have here, everything is A. I posted this a lot on Instagram. My B, C, Yada yada, it goes all the way to, let's see, I have, I'm on I again on here, it looks like I skipped that, started some K, started some J, started some L, and some M. So yeah, I need to go back and finish this one. The thing is, is I get bored, and I have a lot of fun working in a journal for a while, and then I want to do something else. So I keep these and I, you know, I go back to them. So I ha here's another ABC journal. Ugh, 
glue book. I keep saying that. And this one I haven't worked in in a really long time. So this is a pizza box. Let me move these. Oops. This is a pizza box. The binding is rubber bands. These are a pack. You'll see these a lot now. Like Target has these. Where did I just see these the other day too? Uh, Michael's had them in the school supply section. So they're little individual um, blank notebooks for school. You get like a pack of 10 or something in there. So they're all different colors. So what I did was I just bound each one. Where's the middle? Here's the middle. I bound each one with a rubber band. If I want to work in it, I can take it out. And the point of me doing this was each color, each little notebook was going to be a different theme. So my first one that I started was vegan food. And so everything in here is vegan. It was just kind of fun for me to, you know, I'm vegan. So it was fun for me when I see things that are vegan or vegan words. I like to put it in here. So yeah, that was my, this was my first theme was a vegan theme, vegan food theme. So I finished that book, but I haven't done any more, but, and I never, I never decorated the front, but look how easy this is. I just used a regular rubber band and a pizza box and I put all those, um, little notebooks in there. So that was easy. This was a fun one. Um, where am I going to put this? Put that over uh, just, okay, got that. And then I have my little itty bitty, and I just keep this with a paper or a binder clip. This is my little composition notebook, glue book, where I just do something simple. I just add a picture or a collage and like some words. And it's mindless and it's fun. They're fun to flip through when you're done. Um, some of these I need to go back and add some words. I've been having fun working in this. Someone on Instagram said I should have put cooler than you. And I was like, oh, that would have been perfect. So bummer. It wasn't even thinking. So yeah, that's easy. Um, I think it was you, Helen, that asked if I took any pages out of this. I did not. I did not take any pages out of this before I started. And I just keep it together with a little binder clip. This is one of those fun ones. It's good to keep. You could even keep this in a little bag with some images um, for on the go. Like when you're waiting at the doctor's office or whatnot. And then I have my sketchbook. Uh, this one I did take some pages out of. And I did a video on that. And this one I'm going to do just themes. So my first theme I did was Zen. Oh, sorry. I'm like out of frame. And then I did the space theme, which might be one of my favorite ones I've ever done, which is funny because I'm not a huge space person, but I love this. So I have that. And then for the big finale, and you know what? I probably have other ones laying around that I don't even remember about, but uh, the grand finale would be the grand poobah of glue books would be my big daddy, my big random. Hold on a second. Hold on. Don't look. I have to move the camera. I have it like really close. And I'm not putting things in frame. Okay, so this is my big random. This is also a sketchbook. I did take um, papers out of it to keep room for continued growth. And this is my favorite journal I've ever done. It is so fun to look through. I can put full size images in it if I want, which was the point of me getting this. Um, but I really, really enjoy these spreads working in here. I mean, it is a lot of fun. Sometimes I go through and I'll just add one larger image in here. And then um, it kind of makes it easier to start when there's something already on the page, if that makes sense. So I go through and I'll add like one image to a page so that it's kind of a jumping off point. You'll see a lot of times when I do videos in this book, I, m I may already have a picture or two on the page. Um, and that's why I go through and I add, I add one or two. So this is my favorite one. This is my favorite style of glue booking. Um, 
I have my own little system, which a lot of you guys have started to do as well, and you love it too, which ugh, I can't even tell you how happy that makes me. Um, you guys are having so much fun gluing. This is the only one um, in this book that has like a theme, if you will, and it was all flowers. I just kind of wanted to see what it would look like with a bunch of flowers. I just needed that in my life that day. Um, I actually have a lot filled up in this book. Some of these, like this, has no words and no fussy cut images yet. I obviously stopped early. Maybe I wasn't feeling well or whatnot. So I can go back and add those things. But yeah, I have a lot, a lot done in this. And I cannot wait until it's finished and I can do a flip through of it. So let's count. One, two, three, four. Five, six, I don't really count this, but I'm going to anyway. Six, seven, eight, nine current glue books that are unfinished. This I never work in, hardly at all. Maybe someday it'll spark my attention and I'll come back to it. This I probably will never finish again. I just had fun in it for a couple days and that's what it was good for. This I will continue to work on. I'm just not feeling it at the moment. This ABC book I will definitely continue to finish. This ABC book I will finish. This one will be fun down the road. Oops, just a random image. Um, when I think of another theme and maybe when I get done with my my big poo boss. So I do love this one. So I will continue in that. And these three right here, these are my current faves. These are the ones I work in on a regular basis and probably will continue to until they're done. Um, this is fun for just a quick little thing when I'm not feeling like I can sit forever. This is fun um, to come up with a specific theme that really gets my brain going. And this one, this one is my therapy. This one right here makes me so happy. It's so fun and freeing and to see the, the end result of a page when you're all done. <sighs> you guys, I can't tell you how much I love this book. And you know what? It is so heavy. It is so heavy. So I cannot wait until this baby is done and I can do a flip through. So yep, those are all my current glue books that are unfinished. And you know, sometimes you just try things. This was something new for me. I just thought I'd try. I'd never binded a book this way. You know, it doesn't mean I have to finish it. I could take it apart and reuse it for other things. I was just kind of playing around. Um, sometimes it's fun when you just need to not think and just take some paper, staple it together, put a rubber band around it, um, a hair tie you could use, or do a three-hole pamphlet stitch like I did here. Just something simple to play in for the day and call it a day. Um, take your pizza box a cracker box, whatever kind of box, and some rubber bands, and, you know, bind something that way. These free traveler's notebook inserts that you get with stuff, use those. This was just some cardstock I had pre-cut, cut a hole in it, put a binder ring on it, boom. This I made out of a file folder from the Dollar Tree, 10 cents, you know, bada bing, bada boom. The whole point is to have fun and just let your brain go, you know, like let it just relax and glue and have fun and not think about the stresses of the world. And I hope that you guys continue to glue and have as much fun as I do. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my current glue books, all the ones I have not finished. So you don't feel alone if you have a pile of books that you have not finished and I will catch you in the next video. I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye guys.